Hello, I wanted to continue on the video that I made about how to add a user to your ACC7 system. Uh, I wanted to talk today about uh, the groups aspect of that. So uh, it's basically two parts um, to the process of adding a new user uh, to the system. That means you got to add a user and you have to add that user to a group. So I'm going to use our trusty old help file. Again, you can come in, you can search for users, groups, and it's going to give you all the instructions um, let you do a little deep dive in uh, both users groups and Active Directory. So let's dive right in and continue where we left off with our previous video. So I'm going to jump right in the setup, site setup, go to site, click the users. As the user list loads, you can see we still have Bob Jones in here. So we're going to dive into Bob Jones real quick. And the goal of this video is we're going to create another group and limit uh, Bob's access to a single camera uh, that's live view only in the system. So right now we see uh, Bob Jones. We click here and we can see he's a member of the standard user. So this is what he can do in the system and this is what he can access in the system, uh, access in the system, I should say. So um, and we obviously want to adjust that. So what do we do? I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to click on the group tab. You can see all the groups in the system. So step one, I'm just going to pick uh, add a new group. It's going to ask me to copy. So typically you want to find the, uh, the closest group, um, the, the rights that you want and, and copy those. So I'm just going to click the standard user. Hit OK. So now it's going to ask me to name this group. I'm going to call this uh, training, training test. Uh, the rank, if you have a large organization, you can uh, rank your groups, makes it easier to control access. Uh, you also can set your uh, password strength. You can enable uh, two-factor authentication uh, for the users in this group. So what do we want this group to do? So uh, you can see here on the left of all the different things um, that this user can do in the system, and we don't want them to do any of that. We don't want we don't want Bob to do any of that. So really want to come back and, and clamp this back. So we are going to leave this down to view live images only. Okay, view live images only. And then on here on the right hand side, all we're going to do is give Bob access to this, uh, the 4K H5A camera. And we're going to come over, we got to add a user to the group. Gonna hit Bob. We added Bob to the group. Hit OK. Um, now I'm just gonna go to the standard user group because Bob is also in the standard group and we're gonna remove Bob from that group. So now if we go in the training test group, we can see live images only, this camera only, and Bob Jones is the only member of this group. So now let's see if it actually works. Come up here, we're gonna um, we're going to log out of this system real quick. And now we're going to log in. Enter username, password. We log in. Now, when we log in, you saw the, the, the camera tree on the left. There was a lot more information. Right now, it's, it's only that single camera. So we can pull that camera out. If I right click, I have no settings. There's no recorded button up here, so I can't go to recorded footage. If I click the hamburger button, you can see there's no setup. I can't do anything in the system besides see the alarms, see focus of attention. And again, you only have access to that camera. So that was a brief overview of uh, users and groups in your Vigilon ACC7 client software. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe for future videos.